Hey everyone, what's going on? Luis Lopez here live from Raider Field at Cibola High, where the Raiders are set to take on the Imperial Tigers in the season opening game for the Cibola Raiders. I'm joined now by head coach of this Raider squad, first year head coach Casey Keplin. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Overall, how excited are you to finally get your season started tonight? Um, can't really put into words. Pretty stoked. Um, I know the kids are excited. They've been pretty rambunctious all day. Um, hoping we can harness that and not be a little bit out of control, but guessing we'll have a, a few mishaps here and there for the guys' energy just being that high up. But um, we're definitely looking forward to it after a month of practicing against pretty much ourselves the entire time. Now, I did mention that this is your first year taking over the Raider program. What's it been like to implement your system with this new set of guys? Um, it's been a little bit of a challenge. Um, it's, it, it is different. Um, it's not an atypical setup, set up, excuse me, offensively. Um, so getting them to buy into that was a little bit of took a little bit of time, a little bit of work, but they're starting to see the, kind of what it can do for us. Um, and then just getting them all to play with each other. We've had a spell where guys were hurt, guys were sick, um, you know, this, that, and the other thing where we really haven't got our core group of guys to practice together more than about a week. So really hoping that we can accelerate that process tonight. And then, Coach, a lot of new coaches stepping in will be happy to take over a program that won six games last year and a city championship. And you guys also have a star on this team, wide receiver Isaiah Ariola. What are you looking forward to from him, and what have you noticed from him so far in your guys' practices? Um, he's a good leader. Um, he was in almost every day this summer if he was able to, whether it was workouts, whether it was lifting, um, running routes. Um, he's taken on a little bit of a different role for us offensively than, than he had in the past. He's going to be... Um, a little more dynamic, or we're going to have the opportunity, hopefully, to have him be a little more dynamic for us, uh, get him the ball a little bit more in space and, and see what he can do. Um, but definitely a guy who puts his heart and soul into it and wants nothing more than what's best for the program. Now, Coach, you guys are taking on an Imperial Tiger squad that's coming off a win last week in which their defense looked very good. What have you guys been doing in practice to prepare for this Imperial squad? Um, just understanding that we, we know they're going to be physical. Um, they're going to play fast, even if they maybe are wrong in their technique or philosophy, which um, you know happens to the best of them, um, that they are going to be just to the ball and they are going to go with a, a mean intention, um, which is awesome. Um, I love the fact that those, those kids are going to play tough and that we're going to get a great competition out of it. And looking forward to that, looking forward to our guys being challenged and then seeing how they react to that challenge. All right, Coach, thank you so much for joining us here. Best of luck with your squad tonight. All right, now if you want the full highlights to this game, be sure you tune in to tonight's episode of Friday Night Lights right here on 13 on your side. You can tune in at 10.15. Reporting live from Raider Field, Luis Lopez, 13 on your side.